Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to prevent computer users from deleting printers in your Windows 10 computer. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best result should go back a registry editor, go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range, keep that at all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we're ready to begin. So you want to start by double clicking on the H key current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Same thing for Windows. Double click on it. And now there should be a current version folder under here. Double click on that as well. Locate policies. And now right click on the policies folder and select new and then key. Name this key explore. E-X-P-L-O-R-E-R. -E Hit enter. If you need to take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of our registry editor screen here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under up to this point, just if you need to pause the video. So anyway, now over here on the right side, you want to right click, select new, and then select DWORD 32-bit value. You want to name this value no delete printer, exactly how it appears on my screen, first letter of each word capitalized. So again, no delete printer, no spaces, just one continuous line of text. Hit enter on the keyboard to save that, and double click on this newly created value type the number 1 numerically in the value data field and select OK. Once that's done you can go ahead and close out of here, restart your computer and that should be about it. So as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.